still isn't going to deter us from having a good time. No sun, wind blowing and picking up, choppy surf. It's the beginning of the first of our nor'easters that roll through in the fall. Very few people are out here right now, but those who are, like this family from Dallas, are enjoying it anyway. It's still a beach, you know, you still got the ocean, so, and it's the first time for the kids is to see the ocean, so had to take advantage. Beach safety is flying the red flag warning of rip currents and rough water. Seas are two to three feet now, but building potentially up to 10 feet this weekend, pushed by those increasing winds. You can see how much the ocean has already come up into the dunes, in some cases up to the sea walls. This weekend's weather event during high tides will likely saturate this beach. Staff has started to remove non-essential assets down here, things that could blow or wash away as conditions change. It is wicked, it is. Jana Hogan and her family are moving from Minnesota to Volusia County. Despite the clouds, the water is still 78 degrees, so they took a chance coming out. I've got my radar app and I've been looking at it, but there's always weather in Florida, so you just have to kind of, you know, work around it. The incoming storm could lead to minor beach erosion, particularly in more vulnerable spots. Luckily, there's been strong sand buildup in the summer months. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.